He has the first treble needed. Just a bit high on that treble 20, though. 131. So Gurney will come back 56. for this 56 to double. Double 10. Gaines and that puts him 14 legs, side. the seven double ahead. Gaines. Double the legs of Rob Cross. 22nd leg, double two for and About 10 times the chances of winning this match. Well, while we're on the subject of records, not that Gurney will be worried about any of this kind of flannel, but the most maximums by a player in a semi final held at 16 by Anderson and Lewis. In Gurney will try and hit treble 17. And he leaves double 12. So, in the whole, if you just look at the context of the here and now, a lot of pressure on the 66 from Cross to try and level the match. One dot. Favorite double. Double of choice. Game from the this dance play. match, incredibly, is level. Absolutely incredible. Might have a somewhat nervy first dart. Oh, he's got it. Double 19, and he's got two match darts. To reach the final. And he can't find it. He got to the top of Everest, but he could not plant the flag. Rob Cross had two match darts. I didn't think I was going to be saying those words. Will he get another one? Double 12. Just a small sachet. Last dart in hand. No score. Now Rob has got three double 19 or does he want two Will and a different double he's got to clear his mind of everything crowd in a frenzy choice here he wants two darts at double 16 that's what he wants oh on the wire Game double 16 it's all over and it is the most remarkable win at the match play I think any of us have ever seen. Daryl Gurney had that match won, had the match in his palm of his hands. He led by huge margins, he led by seven at 13 to six. And in the end, Rob Cross ran him down to produce the most staggering of comebacks to reach his first match play final ever. That is dance at his very best. That's Bottle at his very best. And that was Rock Cross at his very best. In the